Hi and welcome everybody to another tips and tricks tutorial. Today we will learn how to create pin tags in Claw on the example of this casual shirt that you can find as a project file in the video description below. So the first step, what we will do, I have a baseline here on my shirt to divide the front pattern into two pieces. Here I directly select cut and sew, so we don't have to sew this together again. It's just created another seam line. As we have two parts now, we select internal polygon line tool to place our first internal line from the shoulder seam towards the bottom hem of our top pattern part here. So I just press shift to keep the line straight, double click, finish the line and select edit pattern. Like now I can right mouse click on my internal line, select offset as internal line. And now I can define my measurements. You can see here, um, I can select how many pin tucks I want, uh, how wide I want them to be apart. And um, in our case, I go for four internal lines, so four offsets and a width of 22 millimeters. Then I click OK. My lines are created all at once. And to make sure, I click on Extend Trim and Add Point to Pattern Outline. So I make sure they get cut off and add a point to my pattern outline for the next step because now I select them all and right mouse click to cut. And now you can see I have easily created all small pattern pieces at once because my pattern pieces are symmetrical. I have them on both sides. Now I just place them a bit apart from each other so I have more room to create my actual pin tucks here. Quickly we'll repeat that on the other side. And as we have enough space now, I will start with edit pattern to prepare my small little pattern pieces, all that will have a pin tuck here. So I select the outer pattern line on each of them, as you can see here. As soon as I have selected all of them, I go with the right mouse click to the option offset pattern outline. So I will get this input window, which pops up here. It gives me a distance for each pattern outline of five millimeters. In our case, that's okay because I want our pin tucks to become five millimeters wide in the end. That's up to you how much you want. And here it's important to click on the option, create internal line and to pick the option in the drop down menu of the side segment types as mirror. In our case, mirror is important because uh, we want to fold that pin tucks down later on. So we have to make sure they all yeah, match the pattern outline in the end. This is why we choose mirrored here and why we also create only one extended pattern outline at the time. You can see I'm repeating this process here. Click again on offset pattern outline, choose the same options, five millimeters distance, create internal line selected and segment type mirrored. So now I have a full mirrored fold on the pattern piece or actually not folded yet, but we will do that now. But later on when they are folded, you can see that it all matches the pattern outline perfectly with these options. So the first step to fold the pin tucks will be to select the first line on each little pattern piece, set the fold angle up to 360 and select a fold strength of 100%. So this option I also put up to 100 and as soon as I let go and deselect you can see my internal lines have now a fold angle applied which is why they are shown in blue now. I now select the second internal line here to add another fold angle. In our case I add a fold angle of zero now so 
to make sure they get folded towards the other direction and as well apply a fold strength of 100%. Also here you can see on the other side it has all been copied over because the pattern pieces are symmetrical. What comes next? As a next step, we will start sewing everything together. So here I pick the segment sewing first. Also, I zoom a bit in so I can see everything a bit better. Then select my segment sewing. And in the first step, connect all small pattern pieces with each other before I start sewing the actual pleats. You can see here, I just connect the outlines, sew them together. Now that I have them all sewn, I choose the free sewing tool to sew the actual pleats down. So always make sure you start from the internal line so they get the right sewing direction here. You can see my notches. And in a second step, you have to turn the sewing line types to turned because they will lay on top of each other so Clow software will know to simulate this flat. Then you can repeat this on all folds. Here again starting at the internal line, watch the direction of my sewing notches and set the sewing line types here to turned. It's important that you do that on every sewing line here. I just do it a few times here so you can see the example and then we also will continue to do this at the bottom part of this pattern piece as you can see here. Once I'm also done with the bottom part of this top pattern piece, I can zoom out and see I have also created automatically all sewing lines on the other side. Just to check here, also here, my sewing line types are turned because of course they are a symmetric copy. And now I can actually move on to simulate everything and see if I have created nice pin tucks. So when we simulate, we can actually start picking the connected pattern pieces here to not mess up with our arrangement that we have done before. So I select uh, the directly connected pieces, collar, front, uh, bottom part of my top and the back yoke and then go with a right mouse click to the option deactivate pattern only in our case because we want the sewing to still be active. I also optionally can here hide my avatar and my color to get a better view of what's happening. That's completely up to you. You can hide your avatar with the option shift A and you can hide single pattern pieces with the option shift Q. And then I actually hit my space bar to simulate or of course can click on the simulation arrow on the left top of our menu bar. And now you can see all my pin tags have been folded down nicely. They are all on top here. I'm just adjusting the view a little bit so we can see it better. Also here I'm pulling a little bit to check if all my pin tags are laying on top, but so far it looks good. And another option that I want to show you just in case that, for example, during the simulation something has been messed up a little bit. For example, here you can see it's dancing a little bit. Actually, I can go to my Select Mesh tool. So another tip that I want to give you, you can also correct your layers afterwards. If you're not completely happy with your outcome of the simulation, you can go to the third tool of the top left corner um, of your 3D menu bar, select the Select Mesh tool, either box or lasso, that's up to you. And then you can select the part of your pin tuck um, that might still be a little bit messed from simulation. You can um, draw a box over it, for example, here in our 2D pattern window. So it gets marked green in both windows, 2D and 3D. And then you can click in the 3D window on the selected part and drag it out. That works even if the simulation is off or on, completely up to you. Usually it's easier to do it when the simulation is off. 
So far, I'm really happy with the outcome of my pin tucks here. As a next step, I will lower my particle distance to 5 to simulate again and check if everything looks nice and correct here. And um, for that, I just select all connected pattern pieces to the pin tucks, not everything yet, to check if it worked well so far. Now you can see it's calculating for a second. And now we can see I still have one little pin tuck not laying correctly. So again, I go with my select mesh tool here and pull that out until it lays very nice and flat. And now my only last step that I have to do is I'm bringing back the pattern piece of my color that I have been hiding as well as my avatar. I also reactivate all my pattern pieces, simulate and when I'm happy with the outcome I can now as a final step select high resolution garment option in my 3D menu bar and set the complete garment resolution down to a particle distance of 5, let it simulate and then I'm basically done. So once the simulation is done I'm actually quite happy with the outcome of my shirt here. We have created pin tags on the front pattern of this shirt. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time!